Recently, the lead author or the person in charge of the Hydrogen Commission here in Australia said that, um, sorry, government, but electric cars and even electric trucks make more sense than hydrogen powered ones. However, sales of hydrogen powered vehicles have just had a surprising increase in the United States where you can really only refuel your hydrogen powered vehicle in one state out of 52. Who is buying these hydrogen cars and why? Well, here's the numbers. Here's the models that people are buying. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Hydrogen fuel cell cars increased in the second quarter of 2023 in the United States. It was America's best quarter ever for hydrogen powered cars. Even though, well, no one in China seems interested in them, uh, sales of hydrogen powered cars have gone down in most places where they're sold. For some bizarre reason, people have begun buying them in the United States. And I am honestly, truly, completely baffled as to why. In the second quarter of 2023, there was a bizarre increase in the hydrogen fuel cell car segment in the United States, particularly in California, where these cars are primarily sold because you can't fuel them anywhere else. Imagine buying a car that you can't actually fuel in, well, anywhere, if you take it outside of your own state. Now, sure, there's a couple of fueling stations in other states, but um, yeah, good luck finding them. The reason volume improved year over year is because, to be honest, it was already pretty low. However, it's still a surprise that the US had its highest quarterly volume ever for hydrogen powered cars. I have heard that in the US, there are some massive incentives for purchasing hydrogen powered cars. The reason being the US, the California government has invested billions of dollars into hydrogen infrastructure. In fact, if you do the numbers, there is only 50 cars for each hydrogen refueling station. Imagine if there was only 50 gasoline powered cars per petrol station, per gasoline station. I mean, it just isn't economically feasible, but that's the current situation we're in. Now, interestingly, those hydrogen refueling stations themselves only support refueling 50 cars each. They then have to be refueled. Bizarre. It doesn't make any sense. According to the hydrogen fuel cell partnerships data during the second quarter of 2023, 1,076 Muppets bought a hydrogen fuel cell car in the US. Sorry, did I say Muppets? I meant lovely, delightful people who just wanted to try something new and were conned into getting one. That's a 34% increase versus one year ago. The hydrogen fuel cell partnerships FCV sales data comes from Baum and Associates. Sales data is based on car sales sold by a dealer or a retail or fleet customer. It's the third time in history that sales exceeded 1,000 vehicles in a quarter, says Inside EVs, and the highest result ever. The previous best was 1,034 in Q1 of 2021 and 1,033 in Q1 of 2022. So it's not a big increase, is it? But it still is a surprise. I mean, I really thought hydrogen fuel cell cars were dead in the United States, and all of a sudden they've had a strange resurgence. Now that said, I mean, 1,076 versus 1,033, which was the previous high, it's not really much of a change. Anyhow, the record result was achieved with only one model. Now that's the most surprising part because in the past there was multiple models. There's only one now, really, the Toyota Mirai. According to Toyota, who say the future of mobility is hydrogen powered internal combustion engines. Seriously, they're working on them right now and hydrogen powered fuel cell vehicles. This is a great result, and it shows the Americans are finally embracing hydrogen power cars, and therefore the future is clearly a hydrogen one in the US. Now, Toyota didn't say that, but I'm sure at some point they'll tell that to the government and try to influence their decision making, because that's what Toyota do. The Mirai had 1,054 sales in Q2, which is a new record and the first four digit result for Toyota. Hyundai reported 40 Nexo sales. So clearly it's just a one model race here. The Hyundai Nexo is not selling at all. But what I'm most curious to know is, do you guys think that hydrogen powered cars will have a resurgence? Is this the start of something big? Will they start taking off in the US? Are people talking about them over there? I'm not in the US right now. I wouldn't mind being. I love the US. I love the food. I love the same, lots of things about it I love. But seriously, guys, 
if you're in the US, are you hearing people say, I want a hydrogen powered vehicle? I mean, is this is this a narrative that you're hearing? Because I mean, seriously, you have to question the sanity of these people. I, I do. I'm sorry. I know there's 330 million people in the country, but still, people who have this much money should have a bit more sense than this. I mean, these are expensive vehicles. These are not affordable. These vehicles cost literally twice the price of an EV. Uh, it's crazy. What it's even more crazy about this is it's only a single model of car. I mean, it's not like there's a bunch of models and so therefore sales are expected to go up or something. In the second quarter, EV registrations in California alone though, in comparison to hydrogen cars, were drastically different. 103,000, 103,516 EVs were registered, meaning there was just over 100 times, in fact, sorry, just under 100 times more EVs sold than hydrogen powered cars. Yeah, I don't think EVs are going anywhere anytime soon. If anything, in California, EVs are taking even greater market share than ever before. 1,076 sales is an increase of 34%. Hyundai Nexo sales at 40 are down 62%. Toyota Mirai sales at 1,054 are up 64%. During the first half of the year, more than 1,800 new fuel cell hydrogen fuel cell vehicles were sold. That though is 2% less than a year ago. The reason being Q1 was a very weak quarter for hydrogen fuel cell vehicles in the US. So I would say that that doesn't mean hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are, that, that probably suggests that there's not much of a future for them in the US. And I do actually feel sorry for people. I think they got tricked and conned into buying these cars. They thought it was a good idea and that maybe the dealership, maybe they walked into the dealership and were looking at something else and the dealer said, hey, I'm telling you now, hydrogen cars are the future. They're the future. You need it. That's what you need to get. If you want to get the future of the automotive industry and these people are just suckers and they got sucked into buying something that is um, bad. Not just bad, it's pointless. It's just irritating. How are you going to fill the things up? I mean, really. The overall cumulative sales of fuel cell vehicles have exceeded now 16,700. As of the end of June 2023, there's now nearly 17,000 fuel cell vehicles registered in the United States. 13,000 of those are Toyota Mirais. Have you seen one of these on the road? I mean, I'm curious to know, have you seen one and thought, that's interesting, I haven't seen that car before. And then thought to yourself, why would you buy that? I just don't understand the thinking here. Refueling infrastructure. Okay, this is interesting. Hydrogen powered stations in California. There is 58, five more were built since December. I mean, who is investing their money in a hydrogen refueling station? I can't understand it. This is bizarre. Anyway, there's 58 in California. 23 are in permitting. Seven are in construction. Six are unavailable. Maybe they're blown up. I don't know. And seven are proposed, while five are on hold. That's, um. well, that's a lot of people wanting to invest money into a hydrogen refueling station. And yeah, very interesting. I'm surprised. So honestly, guys, I know a lot of you know a lot about electric cars and about hydrogen and about the differences between the two options and choices. Would you ever consider a hydrogen powered vehicle? And if you would, why would you? So I'm trying to work out here why people are buying them. And maybe I'll find the answer if you guys can tell me an answer to that question. Thank you for watching.